Okay, everybody. Today's video is a bit of a mixture of stuff going on. Um, pretty much finished up for the day now, but I didn't really say anything this morning. So um, I'll roll back a bit of footage of what we got up to this morning. Uh, me and Dad, we went out the back and we, there was a two sheep that had been fly blown. So we went out the back, rounded them up into a little holding yard and we cleaned one up with just a pair of hand shears and then the other one, it was going to be a bit difficult to do it with the hand shears so we chucked on the back of the ute, brought it back to the shearing shed and yeah, we just used the clippers in the shearing shed to clean it up and yeah, that was all good. So what you'll see after this is the footage of all that happening and then I'll be back at you after that happens. See ya. Just had to deal with the fly blown sheep. Cam's uh, already taken a video of me trying to clean it up. We've had to pare all the wool back from away from the affected area where the fries and maggots have been. Get rid of all that dead wool, clean the area up, and we've had to put some antiseptic powder on there, which helps dry up the wound and keep flies and 
associated pests away from her. She'll be fine now because we've cleaned it away and uh, we're going to put her back in the paddock with the rest of the mob. Uh, she probably got, when she had the lamb, there might have been a bit, bit of blood residue left and we had a bit of warm weather there a week or two back and the flies got in there and of course they've laid the eggs for the maggots and then they're taken off and yeah, it's all downhill from there. But she's in good nick now so we'll put her back and she'll live a long and happy life. So we just brought all a heap of the cattle in. So we're gonna mark a few of the late calves that were born. So by doing that, we're gonna put tags on them, vaccinate them, and because they're males, we're gonna put a ring around their balls so they drop off. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So we're gonna do that now. So he's on down. is a twin to one of the calves that we just um, vaccinated and tagged. 
Um, so her mother didn't want her, so we had to bring her in here, and I've been raising her. And then when she was put out, time to leave the stable and put outside in the sheep yards with a little tough house, she was playing and smashed into the fence and broke her jaw. So we took her to the vet and they wired her jaw back together and you can see she's pretty cheeky and it's not worrying her. And when it's uh, peeled, they'll take the wire back out. Um, but yeah, she'll never have a perfect jaw and her teeth will never shut perfectly, uh, but the vet seems to think she'll cope and looking at her, she's coping so far, so. And what's its name? Her name is Ricky Baker. And what's it named after? Named after Ricky Baker from Hunt for the Wilder People because she was once rejected, now accepted. So as you would have just seen, finished up uh, marking those couple of calves and we moved them into one of the paddocks out there to put them on some fresh pasture. And I, me and Dad just took, I took a uh, bale ring out and Dad just grabbed a bale of hay for them. So that's done. Um, yeah, he finished tagging them and whatnot. So those white tags are like a, they're microchipped in them and you're required to have them. In your, cow, in your cows, so we have to put a couple on some fresh calves and those purple tags we put on, they're just numbered just so mum can keep um, track of what 
what carp is what, if she has any issues with it and whatever and whatever. So that's all done. So I'll go and grab her in a minute and I'll get an update off her on what happened, what's been going on with the um, artificially inseminated cows. And then yeah, we'll go from there. So I'll grab her and get an update. Just an update from when we got the heifers AI'd. Um, four of them stayed in calf, or the AI worked for four. Three, it didn't, but we weren't terribly sure about the three at the time. At two, two were definitely not in calf. So um, the AI man came out again and redid two of the heifers. But yeah, meanwhile, another one had lost its pregnancy or something and come back in season. Um, but what I've done, I was offered a bull uh, to use as a, a clean up bull and he is actually by the bull that um, we used for the AI so the three that didn't go in calf um, have been um, bred to this uh, bull that belongs to someone that I know and it just sort of worked out fine so uh, that's all good and at the moment I think the whole lot of those heifers are probably in calf because no one seems to have returned back in season um, that bull's going to be here for another few weeks yet so he'll you know if if those three do return at least he'll be here to clean them up and if they don't go in calf well then there's something wrong uh, but yeah it should should be all good um, yeah and we just did little Ricky Baker's tags and Ricky Baker's little tongue sticks out a little bit because um, her jaw will probably never really close right up but the vets did a great job wiring it back together because when it was broken it was just hanging open so um, hopefully she'll be strong enough soon to go outside and hopefully she doesn't um, hurt it again because uh, it yeah wouldn't be good for her but uh, it's amazing what the vet can do and yeah they reckon she'll be all right as long as she doesn't re-break it so that's our little cattle update, I guess. So we're finished for the day. So I'd like to thank each and everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one.